hi guys welcome back to bus codec video in this video we are going to create an industrial session in codec necessary so first of all uh, we have to uh, enable apache in the mysql then already i have made this uh, login and register tutorial in my previous video so the link is in the description below okay let's start okay first of all uh, to do with the session in uh, coordinator study first we have to go to uh, let me close this one okay first we have to go to config and uh, uh, auto load here uh, in the library first we have to uh, put this parameter session in this array we have to uh, uh, create the session one in the auto load uh, file then when the user for example uh, my uh, email is tinkalilo at gmail.com and the password is 1313 login then after this login uh, my name and uh, my uh, email uh, must be uh, come in this place so also we have to create the logout uh, button to look the to uh, destroy our sessions okay let's uh, do it okay now i'm going to uh, open this ath with the control the control for uh, registration and uh, login okay so uh I have to open the my model, ATH model. Okay. So, uh, if uh, this user, uh, a real user, or authorized user, uh, we have to uh, create the session. So, what we are going to do is uh, type this, uh, type this session, and uh, set user data set user data okay in this uh sorry user data yes and this uh, we have to uh we have to give the two the two parameter the first one is the uh, uh, the name of the session and the second uh, parameter is the value of the session in that name so i have to uh give name for example uh, to create and my name so first uh, we have to uh, grab the my name from the database here this is a query of to get uh, users table my user table is here login users okay and this one is the id name and email and the password okay we have to grab the bus uh, this name and this name attribute and the email okay okay to do that uh, type query query means this one this one and uh, row we have to type a row and we have to pass the attributes in the database that was a uh, name okay and uh, we have to close this one okay copy three times the second one is email email and uh, we have to change this one also email okay the second one is not uh, belongs to database uh, we have to uh, see it is the user uh, is um, if the user is uh, login or uh, not we have to check that one also okay type uh, log log here and um, locked i have to say uh, locked okay 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 now okay uh, i have to go to here i have to go to here so for example let me type lilo at gmail.com and the password it's working so 
we have to fetch a session uh, name and um, email here instead of welcome users uh, I, I want uh, welcome my name for example if my name is Basil again welcome Basil again so I want that so I have to go to my views ATH and the index so and instead of users I wanted to fetch my name here so to do that uh, PHP echo uh, equals and um, this this session user data and the name of uh, my session is or my name is name just like this one sorry here uh, forget something just like this one just like this one and uh, okay perfect so nice sorry uh, this P belongs to here also I have to close this one okay also okay so what we are going to do i have to copy this okay it's perfect sorry sorry we don't have to use this one okay instead of php here i have to type p okay that's right sorry for my mistake and uh, let's see It said call and define the method uh, user date is not user date it's user data user data oh we have to fix this one refresh see welcome bus list again also i wanted to fetch my email also okay to do that uh, copy this one and the paste instead of name and uh, you have to write uh, email just like this one see you know gmail.com okay now we are we have to create the logout button to destroy our session okay to do that uh if you type a btn i mean button so we install button i have to pass the anchor tag and uh let me type a uh, logout so uh, here we have to pass the class of bootstrap btn uh, btn danger let me say danger and um, and here we have to we have to echo our base url by type site url and uh, so a to h slash logout a to h slash logout okay let me see here's the logout button okay when we uh, click this one it's not working okay it's not reference so let's be refresh again see now it's uh, clickable it said uh, 404 page not found so we have to uh, create this uh, function for logout so we have to go to uh, this ATH in my controller we have to type uh, public function logout and uh, here 
uh, we have to destroy uh, our sessions okay uh, to destroy uh, our sessions is uh, this type this session and uh, we have to pass this method sys uh, destroy uh, sys destroy okay just like this one and uh, after destroy our session well you have to redirect it to redirect it to what ath uh, ath slash and in the uh, main or so sorry and next just like this one redirect okay so uh this means this one to eight index okay let me see okay let me click the logout button here it says is logout okay here uh, there is one uh, problem for example let me show you uh, something uh, okay this function is uh, belongs to the authorization person so here uh, without any authorization if someone is type main here enter automatically is go to the main page so we have to fix this one here in model in uh, ATH model uh, we are uh, creating this one what you are creating so by using this uh, user data we can share whether it's authorization or not so here type if uh, if this session uh, user data log log equal equals to what sorry is not equals to if is not equals to logged automatically it redirects to login login page look this one if this session user uh, log is not equals to logged so it automatically directs it to the login page okay let me check this one again type main here enter automatically it checks the uh, if the user uh, log or not for example let me type here the email in you see it as indication okay sorry and uh, login okay this one's the authorization person okay let me log out and uh, without any authorization let me type main here automatically it, it's check whether it's logged or not if it, if it is not uh, logged automatically it direct to the login page okay this is a method that uh, you are going to uh, create and destroy session in codecnator say thanks for watching me don't hesitate to like share and subscribe my channel thank you